There are so many young guys out there that will not be caught dead being used for anybody. You should be with someone that teaches you how to love yourself. Any change that anybody must do before marrying you, don't mm -hmm. expect that. When I stop going to school, I try. Just tell me, yeah, I'm good. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for joining me today on Deep Waters with Deborah Waters. Of course, I am your host with the most, Deborah Waters, right here on Deep Waters. And of course, we're streaming to you live on radio and TV at Redeem 93.7 FM and Silverbed News 24, which you can watch on Star Times Channel 109. You already know right here on Deep Waters, I like to shake the waters on Deep Waters issues deep topics real life stories controversial topics gray areas and more today we're talking about things that you we're talking about a topic that you haven't been talking about for a while you know people talk about sexism people talk about racism but nobody talks about ageism yes this is the first time you're hearing ageism ageism is also known as age discrimination Ageism is called age discrimination and it is how we think, how we feel, how we behave toward others and ourselves based on their age. So when you see somebody young, old, middle class, you just look just them by their age and you have certain opinions about their age or because they are of a certain age, that's some kind of ageism. And it can be experienced by anybody of any age in any setting. Ageism is not just about people that are old, people that are in the 60s and 70s. They can be, ageism can be experienced at 2, can be experienced at 18, can be experienced at 30. You know, it can be expressed in every age. Like, for example, you know, um, even I've heard somebody say an embryo that didn't have an option to grow and that was aborted on time. Permit me to use the word. As experience, is experienced, you know, or has experienced ageism in some way because this, um, this embryo did not have the opportunity to actually grow up and say oh i don't want to die or i want to die i know it sounds funny but i want to hear your thoughts on this on this topic today and hear your opinion i'm very sure you're going to be calling in to you know be a part of the conversation for example also when you are 18 years of age they say you're not an adult is that some kind of ageism when you're 21 they say you don't have full right to some things until you have 21 that's some kind of ageism don't you think once you are 55 and above they say you cannot work in an office and that you can't get a job you see ageism is like is a thing and it has been ingrained in our society in some way Older people are often discriminated against, you know, on a daily basis. And let's also take, for example, somebody who is 30 or a man or woman who is 30 years old and above. Once you're 30, 40 and you're married, unmarried, they start to feel like you are... You are, you are irresponsible. When you are 50 and unmarried, they start saying, ah, you're irresponsible. What are, why are you not settling down? That's some kind of ageism. When you get to 60 or seven people, 70, people don't want to have anything to do with you anymore. They start feeling like you're old, you should be in the house. Ageism is experienced even in the entertainment industry. Women reducing their age, ages because of ageism in politics. I know we know the people that, 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 are, that are vying for the presidential positions right now. And some of us feel like they're not capable to be the, in the best position to lead the country because they are of a certain age. I know, yes, I'm shaking some tables right now, but I also want to hear your thoughts on this. You know, when it comes to presidential candidates, that's happening right now. Some of us are not picking some presidential candidates because we feel like they are old and incapable. That is also some form of ageism. But is it, is it valid or not? I want to hear from you. Um, ageism is so ingrained in our society. And these days, when you go out, you meet new people, the first thing they want to know is, oh, when they look at you, they're asking you, oh, how old are you? When your man miss you and start to talk, oh, where's your state? It's the next thing he asks, how old are you? Just because he wants to stereotype you or she wants to stereotype you and put you. Or if, she, if he says he's 40 or something, you'll be like, ah, he's mature. If he says he's 20, you start looking at him, ah, this one is a small boy. Ageism is being experienced in every sector, at every age, and it is something that we should be talking about today you know in this 2023 on deep waters with deborah waters we're breaking it down ageism you know 
how how real is it how true is it you know um age is real ageism is real and the question is are you ageist are you somebody who just feel like oh i'm afraid of going growing old or i don't want to have anything to do with somebody who's not young and bubbly or i can't employ someone who is older than this age do you have a problem having aging and old people around you are you afraid of growing old are you afraid of gray am um, gray hair on your head and your you know beard do you find yourself constantly dyeing your gray hair into black because <laughs> of ageism this is what we're talking about today on deep waters with deborah waters how real is ageism and yes we're going to talk about it you're going to call in and the number to call is 0705 or 0705 I really want to hear your thoughts on this topic. I want to hear if you have been discriminated because of your age. I want to hear your stories. I want to hear your experiences. I also want to hear your lessons learned. And yeah, that's what we're breaking down right here on this show, right here with Deborah Waters on Deep Waters. And as usual, I will go on a break right now. When I get back, I want to start taking your calls on the topic. I want to hear your ageism stories. I want to hear if you are an, an unapologetic ageist. And if you feel like aged, aging people should not, you know, be around us or should be in a certain place or should be cared about. Let's even talk about some of our celebrities even in the industry. You see some of them, when they grow old, they just vanish from the screens. And then we will just be thinking, ah, they've died. And some of them, you see them. We saw the recent video of a particular actor, I don't want to mention him, that was walking around the street, in quote, like a madman. And people started feeling like, oh, is he mad? You know, is he this? People, when, when, when people in the industry like that start to grow old, everything just starts to, you know, escape and evade. And the question is, is it right? Is it wrong? Ageism is real. Is it really real? What are your thoughts on this topic? Call in on 0705-993-6937 or 0705-993-7937. This is Deep Waters with Deborah Waters. I'll go on a break right now when I get back. Calls from you. Stay tuned. The Nigerian political environment is dynamic and unprecedented. With everybody playing their part, the question on everybody's lips is how come our leaders are not providing the necessary needed purposeful leadership? So who do we blame? The leaders or the followers? Join Chris Kane Wandu CKN as he speaks with the movers and shakers in the Nigerian political arena on Inside Politics, Inside with, Politics CKN. with CKN every Friday at 8 p.m. exclusive to Silver TV and Silver News 24. It's a must watch. Inside Politics with CKN. Speaking truth to power. Getting you closer to the people. We take the pressure off you. Each with his uniqueness. It's no holds barred. Say it the way it is. With the unity system of government, people will steal our money in the state. They will use the federal apparatus to intimidate them. When it was built to shock timid, myopic, Mongo package, Mumu Nigerians out of their way of thinking. Home to about 20 million people are sitting right at the bank of the Atlantic Ocean, Lagos is the economic nerve center of Nigeria's economy. Now with a population of this size, there are bound to be issues and with the city of Lagos, many of these issues need urgent attention. What the government and the private sector are doing to collaborate to ensure that all of these issues are brought to an end is what this program will look to highlight and bring to you. I am Will Selomoni, and this is Lagos.
welcome back to deep waters with deborah waters my name is deborah waters and i'm streaming to you live on radio and tv at redeem 93.7 fm and silverbed news 24 which you can watch on star times channel 109 or of course stream on our website yes i earlier on i said to you that we're going to talk about ageism because we love to shake the waters on hot topics on real life stories real life topics and yes we find ourselves talking about racism all over the place we talk about you know sexism we talk about we talk about all the zims and the zims but we don't talk about ageism and what makes it worse is because people just allow it slide the fact that you know age is people say or sometimes they say age is just a number but is it just a number when when you start you know facing life in itself is it just a number when you get a 40 is it just a number when you're 50 and you're experiencing all sorts of discrimination around you is it just a number when you're 70 and nobody no one you used to be a superstar nobody resonates with you anymore is it just a number when you're 30 and 40 and you're married and people start to look at you as mm, see this one very responsible is it is it just a number when you're denied of certain rights and human human rights you know to stand for yourself because of your age is it just a number literally when you go out in search of jobs or you want to pursue your education for example and people look at you and say oh god you're too old to go to school just sit at home you're too old to do this just sit at home oh you're too old to do that just sit at home you know it's a lot it's a lot going on out, out there and yes, we're talking about ageism. How real is it? How true is it? How much of ageism are you experiencing? Uh, how much of ageism are we even talking about? And when I say ageism, I'm talking about age discrimination. Earlier on, I said that age discrimination can be experienced by anyone in the society. Anyone. You can be you can be eight and be experiencing ageism. You can be 21 and be experiencing ageism. You can be 30, 40, 50, 60. It's not just when you are old and be experiencing it. And it's so ingrained in our society because the society looks at us somehow, looks at the people out there somehow, you know, when they get to certain age even in pageantry for example pageantry you see oh if you're not from if from 18 to maybe 28 or 29 that's where you can be a, a well that's where you can be in the in the pageant industry or you can be a contestant in the pageantry industry or on a pageantry basically so why why are all those restrictions what if i'm 35 single and beautiful and i want to grace the stage of a pageant what is stopping me from that why is it just age why 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 are we coming up with all these age restrictions and discriminations why do people feel like oh at a certain age this has to be and why has the society come up with all of this i want answers from you my listeners and viewers and the number to call is 0705-993-6937 or 0705-993-7937 of course we're doing a giveaway a 2k urgent 2k giveaway <laughs> on the show today to my callers especially females so you might be the lucky winner of the urgent 2k so yeah go ahead give me a call give me a shout out let's talk about ageism in the society today and how we can get rid of it and how how we i don't let's even know the depth of which we're experiencing it to start with you know want to know the depth to which we're experiencing that's the first thing because people say oh ageism this is what makes it we talk about all sorts of uh, racism and isms but when it comes to ageism people don't see it as a big deal because you feel like it can be tolerated, right? You feel like, oh, it's just age, right? Age is just a number. But the question is, is it just a number when you start to, to face something? Some people have been let out of their jobs just because, and they can't even fend for their families. They can't even move on with their lives because they are of a certain age. And because of they are of a certain age, some organizations feel like they are not sharp enough. They are not strong enough to be able to do certain things. What are your thoughts on this topic? What are your thoughts on this particular opinion so far? What are your ideas? What are your comments? What are your experiences? I want to hear from you today. So go ahead, call in on 0705 993 6937 or 0705 993 7937. Don't forget that we're streaming live on Radium 93.7 FM and live on TV at Star Times Channel 109. So, yeah, I have some a couple of things I also want to talk about while I wait for your calls, you know. 
The question is, when people grow old, you hear things like, oh, I'm afraid. I'm, I'm afraid of growing old. In fact, I remember when I, when, I, I turned, when I turned 25. Now, I think I'm already giving, start, giving you guys a bit of my age now. <laughs> I remember when I turned 25, um, which is not too far. Don't, don't get it twisted, which is not too far away. So when I turned 25, I was like, ah, from now, I'll stop counting. I'll stop, <laughs> I'll stop this counting. I just, I don't know. It just feels a certain way. I don't know if it's ageism or if it's a society. But hey, I, I'll take a caller right now to hear your thoughts. Hello. Hello, good evening. Hi, good evening. Thanks for calling. What's your name and where are you calling from? My name is Benjamin. I'm calling from Joss. Your name is what? I I'm calling from Jaws. Oh, okay. Your name is Benny from Jaws. Hello? Yes, I can hear you. I can hear you clearly. Yeah, my name is Benjamin. I'm calling from Jaws. Okay, thank you, Benjamin, for calling. I appreciate it. So, talk to me. All right, it's not so clear, but firstly, I just want to uh, give a shout out to uh, this show. I'm a fan and I'm really enjoying it. Oh, really thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. <laughs> All right. Then, secondly, I am tempted to say my name is Benny because you said you're going to give a, a, you're going to do it to a, to a lady. So I don't know. Can I change my name to Benita and try to talk like this? <laughs> because of the giveaway. Because of the giveaway, the audience took care. Of it, but you sound like someone that has more than two K in his account now. Let's we'll let the people that need it get it now. <laughs> uh. Anyway, I can hear you so much. It's um, breaking. But however. Um, my opinion and my contribution to your topic today. Okay. I think uh, you should not judge people by their age. For instance, uh, there was a case around where I live. Uh, a, lady, a lady that was not married, she was 20 years and um, she got pregnant. Hmm. Uh, another lady that was not married was uh, 29 years and she got pregnant. Hmm. You know, the one, the one that was 20 years, you know, handled it better because she just calls the boyfriend, uh, young man, I've missed my period of where are you now? Are you at work? Okay, don't worry. Just concentrate on your work. Um, you know, I'll just uh, take care of myself and then later we'll see and talk about it and, mm -hmm. you know, handle it. But the one that was 29 years old, mm -hmm. you know, she kept on disturbing the guy. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you in the office now? Where are you? My friend, you want to run away with that, without your baby? Mm. You know? Mm -hmm. So, uh, like the thing, this is normal. But however, point is that you should know where to draw the line. Mm. Yes, that you should know where to draw the line. For instance, I can't be traveling, you know, from Abuja to Lagos and then I see that the pilot is uh, 12 years old and I will ignore it. Hmm. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. So my, my my contribution is um age is just number and don't really judge people by their age. Well however mm -hmm. you should know uh, where to draw the line. Yeah, but I I, I kind of agree with you on that. But don't you think that the age of someone can so uh, kind of like put um, kind of help you know where their headspace is at? You know, when somebody when you meet somebody now, uh, like and tells you he's forty, you know, oh, ah, uh, he's he's actually quite mature. Okay. But if he tells you he's twenty, you know, ah, uh, this was just one of the top around. It's not, it's not great. The network is extremely bad. Oh, uh, okay, no problem. Thank you so much, Benny, for calling. Stay tuned. You might just win the audience to kill that you refuse to give us. <laughs> Oh my! I'm tempted. I'm tempted to say that um, Benjamin, right, or is it Benny from Jaws? That example that I gave, that ah, one is twenty years, one is something. I feel like he's the guy that gave most of them. <laughs> I feel I have a feeling in me. I'm not sure. I have a feeling it's all that he gave twenty years, belly, gave twenty nine belly, and I was like, ah, why are they behaving like this? So yeah, back to what we're talking about, ageism. I appreciate Benny's um, thoughts on on ageism, and he says for him, age is just a number. That some ladies at twenty, at twenty nine, one the twenty year old can be more mature than twenty nine, which I kind of agree. Which is what we're actually preaching. Uh, the fact that I'm thirty, the fact that I'm fifty, does not make me, you know, um, exactly mature. You know, so to say, twenty year old can even be more mature than that. But I'll take another caller. Hello? Hello? 
okay please do well to call back the number to call is 0705-993-6937 or 0705-993-7937 don't forget i'm still giving my urgent 2k giveaway today yeah and um of course for the ladies feel free to call in i want to hear your thoughts on ageism i want to hear your stories i want to hear your your mindsets especially the ladies from 30 and above and what kind of things you experience you know based off that okay i'll take another caller immediately hello hello i can hello 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 okay please fix your line this is deborah waters of deep waters and the number to call is 0705-993-6937 or 0705-993-7937 we're talking about ageism 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 age discrimination i think the way i'm just saying ageism is making it sound so much age discrimination another caller hello Okay, is something wrong with our phone lines or is it that the network is, is not working? I'm seeing so many calls coming in, but I can't take them. Please do well to call in. Please make sure that you have airtime on your phone. Don't, don't flash and don't call and then it's not be as if it's our network, but in other words, it's your airtime. But again, that's why we're giving audience 2K so that you can be calling us right here on the show. Hello? Hello? Okay, I lost that again. The number to call again is 0705-993-6937 or 0705-993-7937. We're talking about age discrimination. And we're not talking about, oh, when you're 70. That one, that one is even a general one. When you're 70, people just look at you as if you should just be sitting at home and taking care of your grandchildren. Hello? Hi, good evening. Please speak aloud or increase the volume of your phone or I need to hear you clearly. Hello? Hello? Okay, lost that. <sighs> What's wrong with our phone lines today? All right, lost that one too. Guys, I appreciate that you're calling, but I also need to hear you. Please make sure you have airtime on your phone. <laughs> Okay, I'm not so they'll not say I'm yabbing them that they don't have a time. I will not say that again. Hello? 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 Yeah, hi, good evening. Good evening. Thank you for calling. This is Deborah Waters on Deep Waters. What's your name? My name is Joy. Your name is what? Joy. Dor Joy. Joy. Yes. Joy from Okay, please okay. turn off your radio. Turn off your radio so that I can hear you clearly. Can you hear me now? Yes, it's better. Joy from where? First tag, joy, joy. How far now? I do. You do. So what's up? Which you want to talk? I just thought you're doing a very good job. Thank you. Thank you so much, Joy. I appreciate. You're welcome. Ah, is that what you wanted to say? Hey, <laughs> Joy, Joy. You don't even greet me. Ask you questions, self. Eh? I don't gather like two questions where I want drop for you, and you just run come out. But thank you for calling. I appreciate when people just want to, you know, you know, compliment you. Hello. Hello. Hi. Good evening. Thanks for calling. Good evening. Yes. What's your name and where are you calling from? My name is Favor. Calling from Ikotun. Favor from Ikotun. Thank you for calling, Favor. So talk to me. So discuss about age. Yes, ageism, age discrimination. It really doesn't matter. That's what I can contribute because um people people mature is not by age, it's by descent. What the person, the quality the person has, not by age or anything. Hmm. How old are you? How old are you, um, Fable? I'm nineteen. What? I'm 19, 19. You're 19. Oh, okay. So, no. and you're, you're, you're saying that age is just a number. But don't you feel like if you had a sister, do you have an elder sister? Yes, I have an elder sister. How old, how old is she or how old are they? No, she's up to 22. Oh, 22. Okay. So, imagine if your older sister was, you know, 30 or 40 and she's not even married yet. Would you, would you be using style to pressure her to get married or not? No, 
I won't do that. I won't do that. Really? So what do you have to say about the people that do that? Even your parents. Your parents will be the one to be even be saying, ah, you never reach. No, that's the I won't do that. You just have to wait for a time. It's mm. not like you. Mm. That's a valid one. Thank you so much, yeah. Faber, for calling. I appreciate it. About the urgent suitcase. Yes, yeah, so you have to stay tuned to the end of the show to, to, to find out the winner. All right, thanks for calling. Urgent 2K, they work magical. Hey, <laughs> urgent 2K, they work magical. See how favor they remind me. See how bad the urgent 2K. Don't forget me. Be old. Don't worry, I won't forget you. <laughs> I have another caller. Hello, hello. Hi, hello. Good evening. Hi, good evening. My name is Lillian. Lillian, Lillian, from where? Surulere, thank you for calling Lillian. My name is Deborah. Hey. Okay, so talk to me, Lillian. I think uh, concerning this age thing, it works both ways. Okay. You don't have to be mat um, you don't have to be thirty or eighteen to be mature. Mm -hmm. I just believe that age comes with the, from the mind. Mm -hmm. Whatever your mind says is what you go with. So mm -hmm. I don't think age has to be determined by um sorry i don't think maturity has to be determined by age mm. so i just believe it works both ways mm. so can you marry a guy that is younger than you most definitely if we both agree hmm. if we have an understanding definitely because hmm. hmm. i believe i believe so much in love so i don't think age should be a barrier hmm. when it comes to love so hmm. i don't believe in that Mm, okay, so I want to ask uh, thoughts on pageantry. You know that when you're doing pageantry, you see that they will say, oh, it's from age 18 to 28 or 29. Do you feel like yeah. older women should be allowed to also participate in, in pageantry? Definitely, why not? But there's a restriction I, now. Why do you think there's a restriction? I believe um, for older women, they believe, okay, their time, let me just say their time has gone. They, they don't have that strength they won't have that strength anymore mm. but I, don't, I believe that what a younger person can do an older person can also do mm. like i said earlier all of this comes with the mind you know there's a way nigerians we nigerians we um, visualize things it's mm. way different from the way americans do theirs mm. so I, everything has to do with the mind mm. whatever you accept in the mind it goes mm. that's that's very true thank you so much for sharing your thoughts on the yeah, topic, okay. Lillian. So stay tuned to the end of the show to hear the winner okay. about Urgent 2K. Okay, thank you. Ah, oh, that's beautiful thoughts right there. But so far, I've just been hearing age is just a number. Um, uh, age is just a number. It's just age. Um, I can marry someone that's younger than me. Um, this, there's no this thing. There's no big deal in age. Uh, that's what I've been hearing since morning. No? But when you don't reach the main matter now, when we start to experience it, it's this same us that are saying, oh, we don't have a problem with age. This same us will have a problem with age. Can somebody be real with me for once? Can someone tell me that they have a problem with older people than gray hairs? That they have a problem with growing old? Can somebody be real? Hello? All right, lost that. I will take a break right now. This is Deep Waters with Deborah Waters. We're talking about age discrimination at all levels in politics, in entertainment, at different stages, to the female gender, to the male gender age discrimination and how it affects us that's what we're talking about right here today on the show i'll take a break right now when i get back i want to take more calls from me i want somebody to be real with me on the show today stay tuned Look at my LinkedIn and they said they didn't see. I can't forget the words. Hmm. Evidence of your work. A tech app will help you understand how tech can impact your life. Your phone and your SIM card is going to be a bigger asset. And with the power that we have on social media with uh, the digital space right now, you can be anything you want to do. One of the other things we've seen is that people will have more faith in tech companies. And how much you can through tech impact your community. The people who watch my videos, the people who see me and see what I represent, 
those are the people that are online. Tech Hub is your one-stop platform for all things technology in Africa. Tech Hub, for a smarter you. Our lions, elephants, gorillas and pangolins have declined dramatically. But we can change that and become proud Nigerians. Please, tell your friends and family to say no to illegal bushmeat. Keep them well, keep us safe. The Nigerian political environment is dynamic and unpredictable. With everybody playing their part, the question on everybody's lips is how come our leaders are not providing the necessary needed purposeful leadership? So who do we blame? The leaders or the followers? Join Chris Kende Wandu CKN as he speaks with the movers and shakers in the Nigerian political arena on Inside Politics Inside with CKN politics. every Friday at 8 p.m. exclusive to Silver TV and Silver News 24. It's a must watch. Inside Politics with CKN. Speaking truth to power. Welcome back. This is Deep Waters with Deborah Waters. And of course, we love to shake the waters on real topics, on topical issues, on real life stories, on controversial topics. We love to have those conversations that you don't always want to have, you know, those deep conversations that will get you thinking and get you reflecting on your life and your actions. So far, we've been talking about ageism, age discrimination in Nigerian society. And so far, we're getting so many calls from Benny, from Favor, from Joy, from Lillian. And I have more calls coming in on this show. I appreciate your thoughts and, you know, your comments so far, excuse me, and your comments so far on the show. I remember growing up, my mom she i think she stopped at um was it polytechnic she stopped at, uh, studying at polytechnic and when she grew, when she grew um grew up and had us i remember her saying things like oh i want to go back to school i want to maybe have a degree or something then she had this fear that oh if i go back to school now and eh, i'll not be being in school with all my children like my small children they will not be laughing at me let's say the teacher now called me and asked me a particular question i'll not be able to answer it ah, it's like i'm not going to go ah, i won't go but thankfully she finally did though but she has to go through all that you know thoughts and overcome those thoughts many people out there are not able to overcome those thoughts of actually saying ah this age discrimination or how would i well, what would they say how would i you know all those questions yes we're talking about ages and today and i want to hear from you i want to hear your experiences i want to hear your thoughts i want to hear your comments and i'll take a caller now so we'll continue with the show and hear from the public hello Hello, speak to me, sir. Hello. All right, lost that. The number to call is 0705-993-6937 or 0705-993-7937. We're talking about age discrimination in the Nigerian society. Hello. Hello. Hi, good evening. Thanks for calling. My name is Deborah Waters on Deep Waters. What's your name? Yeah. Good evening. Good evening. What's your name yeah, and where are you calling from? My name is Buchi. Uju? Buchi. Buchi. Buchi from yes. where? From my papa. From my papa. Thank you for calling, Buchi. Yeah. Let me talk about this age is in something. Look, are you listening to me? Yes, I'm here with you, Buchi. Age has a way of playing important roles in our life. Hmm. Yeah, because now, looking at me right now, um, I would say, when I was young, if I made some something, some certain decision at a very young age, mm -hmm. it, would have affect, it would have affected me right now. Mm. Yeah, but looking at a growing older, we get, you no, know, we get used to changes mm -hmm. and begins to know what fits us. 
though I know that at a certain age, I want to achieve some certain thing. Mm -hmm. And then I get to that age, I didn't get it, mm. and I feel bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I just know that age has a way of playing important role in our life. Definitely. How old are you, Buchi? I'm 28. Oh, you're 28. That's nice. Yes. Yeah, so, no. okay, talk to me. Okay, now, when I was 17, 18, mm -hmm. there are some relationships that if I've gotten into by then, I would have rejected it. Hmm. Probably I would have got pregnant, all those stuff. So what, what, are you, what are you doing? What are you doing? Are you dating? Are you married? No, I'm still single. You're still single. Do you, yeah, do you get I pressured? Think, do you get pressured? No, 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 no. No, not really. But right now, I know better. And I can make better choices. Hmm. Yes, because if I'd made choices then, I would have made the wrong choice. So are you saying that the older you get, the, mm, the yes. wiser you are? Yes, exactly. But you see some people yes. who are old too that cannot make a very wise decision. You see younger people making wiser decisions. I just believe that we just, we just need to go through the times. Yes, we just need to go through the times. You know, when you're matured, if you got pregnant, you can be able to handle it more mm. than when you see a younger person. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you see, they you can have a handle point. it. And then, it yeah. really kind of affects the society mm. negatively mm -hmm. because having single mom at, at a very young age mm -hmm. and they can't handle it. Yes. So it's really sad. For do, you, do you get scared of growing up, Buchi? Like, are you, do no. you get scared of aging? No, I'm not scared of aging. Do you look at yourself and say, oh God, I'm 28. Oh, last, I was just 17 the other day. Yeah, I understand sometimes. Oh. I feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> I feel bad about it. Yeah. <laughs> do, you it. do you have fears of, do you have fears of what you, <laughs> what your life will be like at 40? But, hello, yeah, I do have fears. What are your fears? Going old. <laughs> I thought you said you're not scared of getting growing old now. Yes, but sometimes. <laughs> sometimes but the reality of life hits you. Exactly. Mm, that's true. Wow. Butchi, thanks for calling, Butchi. I appreciate it. Please stay tuned to the end of the show. You might be the lucky winner of our audience 2K. Wow, this is so exciting to hear. Finally, somebody is actually hitting the nail on the head and, you know, I feel like sometimes we just come and say, ah, age is just a number. Ah, we don't, I don't have a problem with age. Oh, it's fine. It's okay. If age is not, there's no problem with age for me. But when you are faced with reality, sometimes it creeps to you. It creeps onto you. I also remember that time when I was, I was still growing up, my mom, she started growing gray hair. I feel like my mom is just the center of attraction today. <laughs> she started growing gray hair. And I remember she, in her gray hair, she's very, she was very insecure about it. Before you know, she go and dye the hair. Many people out there today, when they see one single gray hair, they want to cut it off. They want to dye it. They want to shave it. You know, they want to look forever young. You know, and, and why is that? Why, why are we afraid of aging? Why are we afraid of growing old? Why are we afraid of hitting a certain number? It's because the society makes us feel a certain type of way when we get a certain type of way. They feel like the best part of the most, you know, gracious part of a woman, for example, is when she's in her 20s or in her early from a 15 to a early 20s for a man he should be like 40 when he starts to get to 50 he's growing old and if he doesn't have a life he doesn't have a family something is wrong with him i agree these things are valid they're valid but the pressure is getting worse the pressure is on and i feel like it's a conversation that we need to be having right here on deep waters with deborah waters don't forget that urgent 2k giveaway is still on for the ladies and you can be a part of the conversation by calling in on 0705-993-6937 or 0705-993-7937 and i'll take another caller hello hello 